Hey guys, Ben 1979 here. Going to bring to you today a quick video about the rigid 175 watts power inverter, power and charge small electronic devices. So uh, you get two USB A and one USB C and a 120 volt plug on there. And guys, this is going to be a quick video. It's not going to be an actual review because uh, personally, I'm going to return this item. Uh, simply because uh, nowhere on the website when you're looking at the Home Depot they tell you about if this is a pure sine wave or not so uh, if you don't know pure sine wave mean that the current is similar to uh, household current so it's linear it's stable and this is a modified sine wave inverter so you can see the the diagrams that they have that the wave is like a you know doing like a square like rooftop of building like a, just the, the silhouette of a city or something so you can see the buildings and it just makes some square passes and it's it's not it's not pure sine wave so what's the opposite of pure well it's unpure it's dirty it's bad so uh, whenever it's pure sine wave so the only thing i would run on the 120 volt outlet is something like a uh, maybe a fan or something that has a motor that doesn't use too much juice and that uh, you know you you don't want anything that to uh, that has a compressor you don't want anything with that's too sensitive electronic to plug into that 120 uh, 175 watt uh, power plug so you might use the uh, USB so you you might use the two USB and the USB C USB C charge at 45 watt so that's not bad that's pretty quick but not super quick compared to uh, you know 100 watts that the USB C or and more that that it can dish out so especially for big laptops and stuff like that so uh, like MacBook I think it's a little bit more uh, power than uh, than that so but yeah so would would you buy it would you what would you do with this so would you buy it simply for the usbs uh the price was a hundred dollars canadian it got on sale at 70 something bucks 78 bucks and i decided to purchase it and when i saw that it wasn't pure sine wave and you you see most youtubers when they look at modified sine wave they say ah it's not pure sine wave that that's just bad that's just a knock for it so it's not pure sine wave so uh, the difference between pure sine wave and, and the other modified sine wave is, is like I said, you know, you don't want to run anything that has a compressor or anything that that might be damaged by the bad current. And why did they put that in there? Because it's just cheap. It's cheaper to put it in there and it's just, but in 2023, especially 2022 when this was introduced in 2023, you should not have uh, devices like this, the inverters that have modified sine wave. I mean, th there's no point, you know, if you want to run a mini fridge or anything else that could use that power, uh, you know, you risk of damaging your, your devices. So <laughs> then and there, you, you're going to, it's going to be more expensive than the actual uh, inverter that you, you purchase. So let me just show you guys how you turn it on. You just press the button turns it on there's a small fan on the side here that starts and just pull air through and just uh you know cools it down when you're using the uh the 120 volt or the usbs so then it powers the usb you got a small light so that's cool that that's that's nice so but like i said there's no point in getting this for the uh the uh, power inverter because the inverter is like i said it's not pure sine wave and in 2022 I don't know for 175 watts except for a small fan or something what else you can use that wouldn't get damaged by uh by uh the uh, the modified sine wave so and this is this is something that might work fine for a while and you might not have any issue with a modified sine wave but if it breaks at some point if your device that that you're plugging into breaks at some point then you're you're probably the, the culprit is going to be the inverter so all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little quick video just want to show you guys why i'm going to return this uh, device at the home depot and uh yeah guys so uh rigid if you're listening in the future please put something that is uh you know pure sine wave it might cost a little bit more money but just just pass it on to the customer and 
this would have been a great backup for a lot of things but since it's not pure sine wave i won't risk damaging my electronics on there so all right guys hope you guys enjoy uh let me know in the comments if you would purchase it just for the usbs or for the um you know the power inverter uh, i wish they would make another model i think today's world 300 watts is the minimum so if they could come out with something that uses two battery and is 300 watts pure sine wave uh, then you might have a winner so uh, my other power station that i have is 300 watts and i can power a three gallon air compressor with it so it runs at 278 260 270 watts so i can power a three gallon air compressor so that's that's pretty cool but other than that, uh, there's not a whole lot of things you can power 175 watts, uh, except for electronics that you plug in your power supply and stuff like that. So mostly if you have something with a power supply, the power supply might filter out the uh, modified sine wave, but then your power supply might get damaged in, in the future. So then you would just have to replace the power supply. But, you know, it's it's kind of a no-brainer if you're doing a power supply to just do the uh, modified, uh, the pure sine wave instead of modified sine wave in inverter. So, all right, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one.